Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. A uh, while ago, I wound up reviewing uh, a game uh, in conjunction with the iFinity monitor setup that I have here in my home office. You can go back and look at it. It was like a, uh, a big truck driving game, and I had a steering wheel attached uh, to the computer, and it, it worked well enough. Uh, if I am a fan of a certain type of game, as long as it's not casual, it's usually like driving type of games. Whether I'm driving a, a car or a big truck or, you know, a space vehicle, I just, I just like the idea of flying around on some kind of road. You can actually see the road and you're not in some kind of space vehicle that doesn't need roads. Roads! Where we're going, we don't need roads. Wasn't that, wasn't that the original quote from uh, Back to the Future? I remember seeing Back to the Future in the theater with my grandfather. That's how old I am. It's very old. Did you realize that originally in Back to the Future, uh, Zemeckis had it scripted that uh, Doc Brown and Marty get into a refrigerator and travel back in time? It's true. Uh, but Zemeckis didn't want to keep the refrigerator as the vehicle because he was afraid that after the movie was released, kids would climb into a refrigerator to think they could go back in time, and that's a bad idea. You'd never want to climb into a refrigerator. True story. If you don't believe me, look it up. That is a true story. It was originally not a DeLorean, but a refrigerator. So uh, let's stick on the topic of roads and cars and vehicles and hardware, things that probably won't get you killed, like a Logitech Driving Force GT. We've just posted a review, our review, on LockerGnome.com. No, 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 Logitech did not send it to us. This was actually a purchased product. Shocker, believe it or not. Uh, and we thought it would be good for uh, us to share our opinions of the Logitech Driving Force GT. Uh, and, you know, there are, of course, other combinations uh, like uh, the Logitech G25 and G27. Uh, and he noted, in terms of the actual uh, review, because it wasn't me who reviewed it. I already have a steering wheel. I'm happy with it. Uh, John McKinley, also known as this damn Scotsman, said that the Driving Force GT is built for the PS3 but can run on the PC with drivers available, of course, from Logitech's website. Uh, they give you an option to have 40 degrees of motion to a full 900 degrees of motion in a full two and a half turns, so like one, two and a half. This is, you know... That's quite a distance, I guess, for a steering wheel. You wouldn't want it to go all the way, right, and keep going. Remember, like, arcades? Who else went to the arcade when you were a kid? And the steering wheel, just, it wouldn't stop, right? It just, just kept going and going and going. I always loved racing games. The wheel has 20 programmable buttons on the front, or 24 if you include the point-of-view controls, which is really, really nice. There are times that, you know, I'm in a, a racing game, whether, uh, you know, it's on a you know mobile device or, say, a traditional desktop machine or possibly even uh, on a console. Uh, and I want to change the point of view, and knowing that uh, it's easy to switch or there's a control that's specifically built for that uh, in relation to the steering wheel, it's a good thing, uh, I would say. Uh, so, you know, more than anything, if you enjoy racing games and you do not have a steering wheel controller, you may think about picking one up. Uh, over the years, my favorite racing games were, uh, let's see here, on the, uh, on the Atari, it was... Slot Racer, that wasn't really a racing game, but it was a car game. Uh, on NES, I loved Rad Racer and RC Pro-Am. Uh, those, are, those are my favorites for uh, the original NES. Uh, for, let's see here, what, what else did I have for a console? Oh, uh, the, there was, oh, what was the one? Le Mans for the C64. It wasn't really a ra I mean, I guess it was a racing game, but not like a, a racing game like you guys consider. I always liked Ridge Racer, played that on the PSP. Uh, I, and I did on the Xbox as well, and then, uh, what was it, uh, oh, bur bur uh, Burnout? Was that the name of the game, where you, you get more points by the more you crash into cars? They had that on the Xbox 360, they had it on the PSP, I think it was, I think it was, bur wasn't that Burnout? Gosh, it's been so long since I played it, I can't even remember. Uh, Real Racing is a good one for, uh, iOS, and I've got a handful of racing game on here. Burnout is amazing. Yeah, Burnout, okay, see, I, I thought, it, I thought that was it. Uh, so, let me, hang on, let me see if I can find a couple of my favorite. I've got so many of these darn games installed on here. I'm not kidding, I've got all the, look at all these games. It's crazy. Ah, uh, I have a racing category, I swear. Radio, no. I wish I could, like, organize them in alphabetical order or something. Smash Cops, that's not really a... I like car games. I, well, what, in, in the entire existence of car games, what has been your favorite? 